If you guys like how I do my chart analysis on YouTube and you want to learn how to do it yourself, click the link below to check out the VTrades technical analysis course. What's up traders? This is VTrades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for EOG resources with the ticker symbol EOG. This was a viewer's request and thank you for your donation. If you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Also take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate it very much. This video is for entertainment purposes only, does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see in the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. This stock seems to be in a nice uptrend since prices are making higher highs, higher lows. The EMA is pointing up and acting as support. So let's take a look at the daily chart and I'm going to draw some channels on here for you guys. So this was a nice channel holding prices up. And then we finally got the first break of the pattern. But we don't reverse right away. Normally prices attempt to retest the previous high in the form of two legs. And that's exactly what prices did. So right now could be an indecision moment for the buyers and short sellers because they don't know uh, what to do because the um, trend is pretty much over. So that's where we're kind of stalling out and not making, uh, we're not pushing up past the previous high by good, uh, like large amounts like we did in the past. So we hit the measured move um, for the channel that was working higher. And you can also see that this measured move was also reached. You can see that this was the first leg up right here. This was the second leg. And this measured move was already hit. We started going sideways. We had a breakout. And now we're kind of just chopping around the EMA. So um, I'm expecting a bigger pullback because if you zoom out on the chart to look at the macro pattern, this can help you identify where we are uh, related on the chart. Basically, if we're super extended or we are due for a push up. So right now it looks like we're extended. Kind of looks like we're at the end of an impulse. So the price action moves in waves. So we had an impulse working higher, then we have a correction phase, another impulse, a correction phase, another impulse. So this to me looks like the end of an impulse. It's also near the top of this channel, which could be acting as overhead resistance, like what we did back here. This looks like uh, a starting of a down move. So I can see commodities at least pulling back in the short term. Um, but eventually I'm still looking for higher prices. Uh, just due to the bullish nature of commodities i believe this is the um, cycle for them so i'm looking for a pullback and i believe buyers will definitely buy that dip back up and send it to much higher prices so i'm looking for a pullback because looks like we're at the end of an impulse we're, we are getting extended because we're at the top end of a channel which is acting as resistance uh, looks like the uptrend channel has played out in the micro pattern where we had a break outside of the pattern and two legs up to new high now we're starting to stall out uh could we just moon and balloon to the highs right now it's a possibility but it's a very low probability i'm looking for a pullback if i was trading this i would definitely be looking for longs but i wouldn't be entering over here uh, because we are due for a correction downwards and then once the correction plays out possibly to the $97 level, that's where I think prices can go to. Um, you'd be looking for a long setup to enter before the move happens, and then that's when you're in the nice profit. You don't want to be entering up here because then you would be already in a drawdown before the next move up happens, which I believe will happen. Uh, there's a strong possibility for it. So let's take a look on the weekly chart to wrap it all up. Here we have the weekly chart for EOG, and you can see that we made a higher low back here in November around October of 2020 because when sellers cannot bring it down past the previous low. So this is a higher low, which is a, a bullish sign and it could lead to reversal, which we did get. Uh, so we are trending up. This is the channel that's currently in play. Let me show you guys that right now. So this looks like the channel that prices are expecting, excuse me, respecting. And we are at the top side of the channel and we're getting far away from the EMA. So it's very similar to what we can see on the chart that occurred back here in May and June of 2021, when we were near the top of an impulse uh, and the um, top of a potential uh, channel. Look what happened then. We got a correction down about a 25 to 26% drop. So let's say if we do the same thing again, where can we go? Another 25 to 26% drop would be to the $91 level, but I don't think prices will get down low. 
I think we could get to maybe the $100 level because there looks like there's strong support there. So that's why I think prices can test it again uh, before continuing higher. So I'll show you guys that right now. I'm gonna put a horizontal line there. So this is where prices found resistance previously. We blasted past through that top. We came back, found some support. We continue higher. So there could be another opportunity for prices to come back there again and buyers enter um, or add into their positions if they have not already and ride the next impulse up. If I zoom out more on the chart, you can see the overall pattern is just pretty much a range bound stock for um, numerous years. You see that the lows are at the $30 level and it was holding us support for quite a long time since 2006 and it looks like the highs are right around the 130 level. So we are approaching all time highs for this stock. So we could see increased volatility. Uh, sellers are waiting to take positions around this 130 level, but we do have a channel in place. So the bulls have um, the momentum on their side and the bias. So I'm looking for a pullback in the short term. Uh, could we just continue to push up higher from here? Uh, yes, um, I'll be surprised if we do though. If I was trading this, like I said before, I'd be waiting for a pullback, um, maybe to the support side of this channel, maybe all the way back down to the hundred all level. And then from there, I'll be looking for a long entry to enter higher because this will be the first break of this yellow pattern. And whenever we get the first break, we usually go back up to retest the previous extreme. So either way, bulls have um, many things on their side to push up prices. So that's why I'm long bias, um, but we are near previous all time high. So sellers are going to be coming into the market and pushing down prices. So we'll have to wait and see how it reacts around this 130 level. But if this trend uh, stays intact, we could see a new all time high fairly soon, probably in the next uh, couple of months, probably even uh, the third quarter of this year. So everything looks pretty good. This is definitely an uptrend since 2020. And you got to stay with the trend until it ends. Right now, there's no signs telling me that it's ended. So I'm long bias and that's what I will be looking for. Thank you for stopping by and checking out, checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised at what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time. And bye.